What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's get this done with Pythagorean theorem. This one says, Jazam goes four blocks east, five blocks north, then eight blocks east. Okay, let's just start with that. We know that Jazam is going what? Four blocks east, five blocks north, then eight blocks east. Here's the thing, you don't have to worry about east or west and like what direction that actually is gonna be on your paper for the math questions. Just remember if you're going east at one point and then later it says west, just make sure you go in the opposite direction, okay? That's all you have to worry about with that. So it's saying how far is Jazam from where he started? So let's start to draw this out. Let's draw a little point and let's say J for Jazam. And then let's draw a little line going to the right and let's just label that that's four for the four blocks east. Now five blocks north, so let's go up five. So we'll draw a line and we'll label it five. And then let's go another line, which is eight blocks east. So again, we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna label it with an eight. So the question's asking how far is Jazam from where he started? So what we need to do is draw a line from where he started to where he ended up. So let's take a look at that. So the question's really asking what is the length of this dashed line that we just drew? Now, here's what we can do to make this easier on ourselves. We can actually create a triangle. That's how problems like this break down. So if we create a triangle, what are we gonna have here? Let's draw this in now. So let's take a look. First of all, if we draw across the bottom here, what do we know? This first piece is four. Now this next piece across the bottom is what? It's eight because it's just the same as the top. So in total, what is that length across the bottom? It's 12. Now what's this length over here? This length over here has to be five because it's the same as this length over here across from it. It is the five blocks north. So we can label that five. Now, what would the dashed line be? To figure out the dashed line, we know that we have a right triangle here. Why? Because we're going east and we're going north. Those are gonna create a 90 degree angle, right? So here's what we're gonna have. We know that this is five and this is 12, that's a 90 degree angle. So we're looking for our C from A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have five squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. So five squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. So those together, 25, 25 and 144 add up to 169. 169 equals C squared, square root both sides, and we have C is 13. Also, maybe you remembered one of our Pythagorean triples. Remember the ones that we said show up the most often. Three, four, five, five, 12, 13, and eight, 15, 17. So remembering that could have saved a lot of time. So the correct answer is definitely 13. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened in SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.